Alright, so today I'm going to shoot the HPC True Ball hinge release versus the GOAT. I'm going to shoot it in thumb button and hinge. Don't know how I'm going to score it yet. I might break out one of my 3D targets or just shoot like a paper face um, field target or something. But um, basically, no one really talks about how decent the hinge thing is. Hinge, hinge mode is on this. Everyone kind of shoots it as a thumb, and I think that's stupid because it really is built from both. And um, I mean, I do like this much better if I'm going to stick to a straight hinge. And this has maybe probably made me more of a hinge shooter actually. But definitely want to show off the um, qualities that this has and just how quick it is. Also, like I'll I'll be out sometimes at the range or on a in a tournament, and I'll switch it from one target to the next and everyone knows that's picking up your shooting stool and literally moving to the next target and if I'm like fourth up I'll have enough time to swap it over if I want to. All you have to do is take this little Phillips off, punch the little pin out, throw it in the bottom here and then screw the Phillips head in here and then just turn this sear lock so it locks the thumb and that makes that useless. So. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to shoot in a little bit when the heat dies off. Alright, here are all the tools you need to turn the true ball goat, which is now in thumb mode, into a hinge. Allen's uh, little Phillips screwdriver and Fill a screwdriver in this little, uh, any kind of small, really tiny, like 50 thousandths Allen wrench to punch out the pins. Okay, so start with the black side, obviously, or once, once you get that. So take this little Phillips head right off here at the top of the hinge part, and then take your small Allen, go from this back side, punch this pin out slide it right down in this little cool slot they made right next to the sear cover it and it's secured with that same little screw take your screw or right, Phillips head tighten that down okay now the last thing you need to do is change this trigger lock so all you do is take your um, well, two millimeter in metric and turn it clockwise till it clicks hand tight now it's a hinge you can do that I usually do that in about 30 seconds if I'm not explaining it on camera so it's now fully hinge mode I'm gonna go out and shoot this I'll just show you right here. Let's see if you can see this. Let's see. Okay, using my uh, my draw board here. Very light. Oh, sorry. Forgot. I need to lock the sear to the left. So. so now, with a click, you get the point. I'll show you outside when I'm shooting it. Five shot ends down on the morale target down there. So we're about 40 yards back. 40 exactly actually. I think that's a fair distance. Let's see what we can do here. I think that I can at least be up. Uh, can't see nothing right now. Alright. Goat and hinge mode. Oh. 
thought it was going out. Man, that's a, uh, it's different. I haven't shot that, uh, that goat in hinge mode in a while. I'll put that in though. I will not edit that out. Uh. That's pretty good. I mean, these four are good, or these five are good. This one was a flyer. Check that out real quick. That's not bad. Uh, move my indicator or not. So I'm going to shoot this again. Again with the button. That was good. Money. Money. Alright. We're switching over to the now tried and true HBC three finger daddy here. So with a click steady and then I kind of finish it off with that third finger there I keep it nice and dug alright so check that out I think I felt this one flyer but that's pretty good. It it's kind of a tie. That's the weird flying error I got. That thing, oh, oh, that thing just I don't know. Blue wonky to me. I'm gonna mark that one. Definitely. I don't know if it caught wind down there, but. And this is not the two. This is nice. Sometimes pin brightness can create too much of that starburst effect. I only shoot a 15,000 pin anyway, so pretty small, but um, I usually lower my. And then I have the Zebra's Evolution here, so. As you see, when you double hit there, you can choose from all the color. Come on. Okay. So there's all the color options. There's purple, red, green, blue, yellow. Let's see what yellow looks like right now, because it's a natural blue pin, so adding yellow to it almost makes it look like a bright white pen or something. I usually really like it like this. I'm gonna shoot this one for S and G's. This is just a 350 spine PS23 that's like 30 grains heavier and you'll see the difference I shoot it exactly where I would shoot the others, but it being 30 grains heavier with a uh, point weight. To uh, land, walking down. Those were all the uh, HBC. And look at this one, the uh, one that's like 30 grains heavier. How much lower that is. That's how much lower it dropped. This is actually a good group. It's just a little high. I can't even hear that one on camera. That was a slap. Yeah. Hmm. 
look at how low 30 grains does for you. That's that's like six inches. These good groupings just uh, just a I mean a scotch high. Check those out. This group's not bad, as I'm saying. Just a couple are staying a little high. So, right, so I'm gonna switch it up on this one and use the HPC to confirm if it's me going high with the hinge or if it's my numbers. This is a mixed, it's a mixed bag group, and this is probably one of the best groups of the night. So I know this video is mainly to review these releases, and I've talked a lot about my sight and stuff, but my sight being off, sight tape, making all the marks, but in all honesty, they're both great options. Um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy the HPC though, or I mean, if you're gonna buy the GOAT, use both, you know. I'm actually going to switch it to hinge mode. Okay, back in hinge mode, as you can see. Alright, so I'm going to do the last three ends of each, but I'm going to push it out a little further. Let's see what this is probably about. 38. See how good my judging has gotten? Wow. 38. 38.3. It is my own yard and I shoot here every day, but that's pretty good. Third at my... Couple clicks down. literally a toss-up if you want to throw one up in the air and see which one hits the ground first I don't know they're both gonna do you really good uh, much better than I expect all right guys well that's a wrap on this video like I said again pick either one out of your pouch goat with the HBC you're gonna do good Right now, still shooting both, so I like both. Um, it's good to have an array of releases in your arsenal, especially if you're shooting, say, at a tournament and you're maybe facing some windy conditions, that might be the time to break out a thumb button. There's times where you, where you might want to break out a hinge. Um, definitely indoors is a good time to do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like this review, and... I might wrap it up a little bit more in the garage, but if anyone has any comments, drop them in the comment box, and I'll make sure to reply to them. Thanks for watching.